To make sure your Wi-Fi signal is always as strong as possible, what we're going to want to do is open up our networking sharing center, which you can do by clicking our Wi-Fi icon and clicking open networking sharing center. So once you're in here, what we're going to do is go to change advanced settings or advanced sharing settings. And what we're going to want to have is unless you're sharing your network um, for printer services, like if you have a whole bunch of computers in your house connected to a main printer, I recommend turn off file and share or file and printer sharing. And for your home group, you can either again um, use your regular accounts, which will allow the users to access some of your data that you're sharing, um, your videos, pictures, etc. As long as you have the account name and password or you can use allow windows to manage home group connections which will just basically allow streaming throughout your house without all of the difficult signing in and everything so i recommend just leaving it and allow windows to manage home group connections again unless you are sharing your network just leave it as is so next what we're going to want to do is go to guest or public and go to turn off network discovery which means people who aren't um already connected to your network will not be able to see your network when they go to open their phone and connect to it that just allows for um, less overhead so if somebody comes around and they see your connection they click on it and they're trying to connect to it even though they may not be connected to it they're still trying to send signal to it which could cause again some problems and again you don't want uh, file and sharing or file and printer sharing if somebody's not on your network you don't want them to be able to use your stuff and see it so turn that off so next go to all networks and what we're gonna do is turn off public folder sharing for the top um, top listed items so that's because I mean when people um, when you have public folder sharing basically anybody in your um, network can go in and manipulate your files so they can not only see your stuff but they can then go in and uh, see it and manipulate it and change it so that you can um, you don't remember you know what it was so turn that off just because and again and these are all basically um, just uh, my personal preferences when setting up a network I always turn it off because I don't have anybody in my house or on my connection that's going to be seeing or need to see or manipulate any of my files or use my printer so I'll keep that off and as far as media streaming goes uh, I know Xbox and PlayStation media streaming is big so you can click on your media streaming options and change them when you're inside of this tab you can turn it on or off and in a second I'll actually go over how to um, share stuff over your network so go back to all networks and down here what we're gonna do is use a 128 bit encryption so this is important when you're protecting your files because the more of an encryption the more the harder the code is to break basically so I'm not gonna go in and um, explain all the bits and how a encrypted password is sort of set in place to block users from connecting to it but what we will say is again the more bits of encryption the higher the strength is for the protection that it's offering so keep your um, bit as the highest rate yours might be different but use the highest that it has and of course it says recommended to the right so leave that as is or change it if you had it on a lower bit uh, frequency next what we're gonna do is password protected sharing and yes you do want this on so only people who have uh, your user account and password on this computer can share files so when again people are trying to connect to your files or read them or even stream um, stream something on your network they're gonna need that password and your username to log in and then stream so this is different for um, Xboxes and PlayStations. They don't require passwords because there's no way to pull up a username and password uh, channel or dialog box on the Xbox to actually enter it. So when you're streaming over a um, network, just know you're streaming to all um, consoles and media devices that can pick up that connection. So you have to actually go in and change that. So the next part of my video is going to be on actually sharing um, stuff over your computer. So what we're going to do to share stuff is again go back to net change advanced uh, network and sharing and go down to all networks again and go to choose media streaming options. Under here turn on media streaming
and again I'm just showing this because this is a good way to establish a good overall flow of your network and what is happening to understand um, how your network is taking in connections and what connections are actually allowed to connect to your computer which will allow for again less overhead and less signals being sent to your router overall so what we see here is our local network we can change it to all networks if we want and we'll see all these uh, checkboxes with different devices that are allowed so media programs on this PC and remote connections this is allowed right now so any Xbox or media device again can connect to my files that I have shared now you're thinking okay how do I share files what we're gonna want to do for that is after you've allowed your certain different computers to um, connect say I didn't want uh, streaming for all devices I would unallow this I'd uncheck this box and click OK so again for the Xbox I could do the same but what we're gonna do is just click OK because I'm gonna keep them both and click OK again okay so go back to our network and sharing center and actually go to the control panel and click network and internet. Network and internet, click home group and choose home group and sharing options. And if you don't have a home group set up, this is the way that you share your files around your network. So click create home group next and here we go. So you can share either one of your folders. I usually only share my videos and my music, my media. Um, just because if you have a printer again over a home group you can allow others to print using your printer with this password so if you want to share that so others can print um, I have a video on that you can go check that out on how to print um, people's or not how for, to allow other users to print through your network so we're gonna not do that right now and it will create your home group and give you a password once we have our password you don't really need to write this down, you know, it says write it down. Just click finish, and you can always go to the network and internet, click home group, and down here it says, um, where does it say? Okay, so view or print home group password, and your home group password just shows up. So, what we're going to want to do now is we see library and devices you're sharing from this computer. Videos and music are the both um, in this section. So, what we're still sharing right now to this point is just our media and again we can change our sharing options and that's about it so this will set up your network to a way that you want it so if you don't want to share um, any of your stuff on your network again go back to the past uh, part of the video and just click no just uh, click that you don't want to share anything and more importantly when you're clicking allow devices just click block all so block all will allow no streaming nobody allowed to access your computer at any moment and that's basically how you do it so if I click block all no one can connect to my computer and I don't have all that random information be being sent to my router at any given moment so that's basically all I wanted to show you guys is today um I know this video is a little long and really was off topic for the most part so um, sorry about that. The first four minutes or five minutes of it was strictly about keeping your internet connection um, on and how to make it stronger and just basically building a more encrypted and better network. And the second part was about, you know, going through the steps to understand what is on your network and what you don't want on your network, basically. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.